Hey you guys, so um, I'm here to do my uh, July freebies um, video for the month of July 2021. Um, I'm not feeling too good today. Um, actually, I just started feeling this way about 45 minutes ago. I'm not sure what's wrong with me. Um, my stomach just doesn't feel good and I just feel weird. Um, so I'm going to film this video and go to bed. It's only like 8.45 here. It's between like 8.30 and 8.45. Um, oh, let me take these off. I usually take my glasses off when I film. Wasn't even thinking about it. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get the magazines out of the way. Um, really, I don't really like read these. I don't really like read these read these I really only like to do excuse me like the crossword puzzles that are in the back um I love crossword puzzles and like sudoku or sudoku however the fuck you say it um so yeah this one there's one two Three, I will probably read this one just because it's about Britney Spears. Four, I cannot stand them being a couple, by the way, while we're looking at this. Honestly, I think Blake should have stayed with Miranda. Him and Gwen are complete opposites, and, like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. Like, that, it's just... I don't know. I I would prefer him still be with Miranda, but whatever. Um, and then this one. So one, two, three, four. So we have five um people magazine whoops, five people magazines. And then I have one car and driver magazine, which I don't remember ever signing myself up for. Maybe I'll have my husband read it. What the fuck is on the back of this? The all new Kia Carnival MPV. Yo! Oh, check that out! Okay, at first I was like, what the fuck am I? But like, look at this. Okay, so this is like the, like the seats in the front. Not only do they lean back like normal seats do, but they have this thing that like kicks out like a footrest. What the fuck? That's the Kia Carnival MPV. Okay, so now, after I get done with this video, but before I go to bed, I'm gonna look this up. I, I'm gonna look up this vehicle, and I need to see, I need a tour of the inside, and I need to know how much they're selling them for. Um, because that just looks totally cool. <laughs> Um, I would probably make my husband drive me everywhere just so I can sit in the passenger seat and throw my feet up. Okay, anyways. Um, so all of my samples I have been keeping in this bag. I'm surprised they all fit. Because I was keeping them right here on my nightstand. My bed is right here. Um, but to be honest with you, it just... Things just kept piling up. And it just made my nightstand look so cluttered, so... I really like this bag. I'll probably wind up getting this as a tattoo somewhere. Um, but anyways. Let's open this up. Speaking of Ipsy, I am going to skip this month. Um, this month I was actually kind of looking forward to it because it's the Glam Bag X. Um, so the next one won't be until November. Oh my god. My son will be here in November. That is crazy. Um, so, but I'm I'm skipping this month. It's for financial reasons, really. I mean, I I can I can totally afford it. It's just okay. The way Ipsy sometimes Ipsy be doing us dirty, y'all. They be doing us real dirty with taking that money at our bank account. I've had issues with Ipsy in the past where they will take. What the fuck is that? 
where they will take the money out of my bank account like a day or two before the first and I have a very I have my planner right here and I have a very strict schedule of like my finances and like what day I, I like what day I pay this what day my husband gets paid what day I get paid and everything it, it's lined up perfectly so that each bill will come out like the day after I get paid um, because sometimes you know the timing varies a little bit and we both um, our direct deposit drops at nighttime like just before midnight so like I get paid on Monday nights I get paid anywhere between like 9 and 11 on Monday nights so I have my bill set up to come out for that Tuesday because I get paid every Monday I have my bill set up to come out every Tuesday well Ipsy has to come out on the first of every month no later than and like with my normal bills I can plan them and be like okay you know this bill like my lights are due the 16th I don't get paid until the 17th I can pay them on the 18th and there's no issue with that like Duke Energy they never have an issue with that I've I've never not paid them before I mean hello I need my lights um, but it's just the way Ipsy is a lot of times they will be sly with shit and they will take the money out of my bank account before I even get paid the way my bank works is if see I get paid after midnight okay the day before the first so like sometimes they'll take it out on the 31st like that $50 or whatever since I don't get paid until after midnight, my bank account balance is like nothing. So they go ahead and they take out the $50 on the 31st and they'll do it before midnight. And if I don't have the funds, if I don't deposit the funds back in my bank account before midnight, I'm char I'm charged in um, an overdraft fee of $35. So if I wouldn't have canceled this month, I can afford the Ipsy but I don't have the option to pay after the first. If I had the option to pay on, let's see, today's the 31st, tomorrow's the first. If I had the option to pay on the third, which is on Tuesday, instead, because the first is tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, I get paid Monday night. So if I had the option to pay them for my Ipsy on Tuesday, which is July the third, then there wouldn't be an issue. But I, I can't do that. They won't let me do that. So instead of them charging me tomorrow $50 and then me not getting paid until Monday night, my bank is going to charge me that $35 overdraft fee. So I'm going to wind up really paying like 85 bucks for an Ipsy, which fuck you. That's not fucking happening. So anyway, rants over. So on those months where the first comes right before I get paid. I have to cancel it um, because I, there's no way that I can get around that. Um, Ipsy, they just won't let you. And then I've tried contacting them about it before and basically they told me there's nothing they could do. They're like, well, you know, you're you know, like if you're getting paid the next day, there's no issue with it. I'm like, yes, there is an issue with it or I wouldn't be fucking calling you right now or emailing you right now. Um, honestly, sometimes I think I want to switch to Birchbox. Okay, now we got that rant about Ipsy over. My normal Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, that will resume in September. Back to the samples. Okay, so the first thing, there's many things. Okay, the first thing is, oh shit, I forgot one something downstairs. Okay, before I forget, there's something downstairs um, in the kitchen on the bar. There's a pack of, it's supposed to be um, by the brand Ollie, and there's supposed to be gummies, like insomnia gummies, like you eat the gummies and they help you go to sleep, whatever. Um... Where I live at, it's like 95 degrees outside. So when I checked the mail today, that was the only thing in there. And I was like, great, you know, last, you know, sample to add to my freebie collection for the month. Took it out of the package and the motherfuckers are melted. Like they're liquid. They're, I was about to say they're a solid liquid, but that makes no sense. They're a liquid. Um, they're no longer shaped gummies. Like you can just like press the bag and like, it's like sticky like you can just feel that it, they're no longer a solid gummy. 
So I forgot to bring them up here, which there's no point anyway, because I can't even use them at this point. So anyway, this is the first one. This is by Carolina Herrera, New York. It's the Good Girl and Bad Boy Perfume and Cologne Duo. My husband, he loves when I get stuff for him like this. He loves when I get him like, um, like free samples of cologne. He actually, the cologne that um, we went out and purchased for him about a month ago, um, Azaro's Most Wanted, he actually <laughs> had a sample. It was this from um, a sample that I got from Macy's for him. Um, he loved it and we went to Ulta like a week later and bought full size. So he loves it. Um, and I have all these freaking perfume samples right after I get my new, um, Mugler perfume, um, Angel Nova. Anyways, I can already smell this one through the box. This is by Lancome. It's Idol. 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 This smells so good. The only issue I have with some of these is some of these come half full. Like, I haven't even sprayed that yet. But it's, it's only half full. But it probably like leaked or something. Because this box smells like this perfume. So I think, um, I think maybe after um, I finish up the perfume that I just got from the Angel Nova, I think I'll purchase this full size, just depending on the lasting power and, you know, what it smells like when it mixes with um, my body chemistry. So, so we'll see. God, that smells so good. All right, the next thing I was super excited about, well, it's like the next of like... things okay these all came in the same pack these are sponges um we don't have a dishwasher unfortunately um this townhouse is crap um so i have to wash dishes by hand so i got these samples these are these scotch bright dual purpose scour pad there are like it shows you like the texture right here um there's two there's two. Oh, you can open it. I didn't realize that. Okay, there we go. There's two in here. And then in this plastic wrap, this is the Scotch Bright Low Scratch Scour Sponge. Tough on soils, easy on surfaces. It's got the little bumpy too, which this is perfect timing because we do need a new dish sponge right now. So this one is just one pack. And then we got another one of these. Um, they look the same, except this one is not in plastic, but it's got the little bumpies on it, so, yeah, and there's just one of those, so, we got three new dish sponges I'm super excited about, now I don't have to go to Walgreens and purchase more. Okay, next is this, um, fragrance sample, um, for women, this is by Jimmy Choo and it's called I Want Choo and it's just a little peel and sniff. What I usually do with these wipes, I peel it and then I wipe the wipe on my wrist like in the morning and I just wear it all day. I wipe it on my wrist, my neck, um, the good use out of that. Next is, is this from, are these both for men? I think they look like it. Okay, these are by Mont Blanc. That is the Legend Cologne Sample. And again, it's just the little wipe. You, you lift it up right here, peel it back, and that's the little wipe in there. And then on this side, it is the same little wipe. Um, but this is in the scent Explorer. So these two will be for my husband because these are for men. And then... Let's see, this next one is by Coach, and it is Coach Floral, which um, when I was a teenager, I used to purchase Coach perfumes all the time. Oh my God, they have a yellow one. I don't remember what it was called, but that one was my favorite. Um, anyway, here's Coach Floral again with the white. 
which I mean for a sample is fine and then on the back you have coach coach dreams on the back so these must be new I can't wait to try those and then my husband he's gonna love me for this month okay my husband has more cologne samples this is from vulgari man this is vulgari man in black again these are all the wipies wipey <laughs> you guys say it like i'm talking to my kids um this one is vulgari man glacial essence the green one is the Vulgari Man Wood Essence. So he's going to get a love out of those. All right. This next thing is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation Sample. Now, I will not be able to use this all over my face, obviously. I am in neither one of these colors. Um, I am pretty porcelain white. Um, I'm pretty snow white. So I won't be able to use this, but it looks like for each shade, they only give you enough to like swipe right here just to basically see if it's your skin tone. Um, they don't actually give you enough to put on like one full use, you know, um, all over your face and then to see if you like it or not, which is ridiculous because I, I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I'm not even going to buy it. What's the point of having a shade match ourselves if we don't know if we're not going to like the formula or not? It's fucking clean, right? Okay. The next thing that I got was this little bumper sticker. Um, it says hashtag okay, here we go. The um, okay stands for Oklahoma. So like hashtag Oklahoma, here we go. Uh, this is a Route 66 bumper sticker. Um, Travelokay.com. Um, and cruise Oklahoma at the bottom I had to get one of these um, because I used to live in Oklahoma um, if you live in Oklahoma or if you've been there or if you're a local or anything um, I used to live um, about 30 45 minutes um, outside of Tulsa and Muskogee and then before that I lived in um, Shawnee which is um, it's it's I wouldn't say it's just outside of city of um, OKC. It's it's I would say about an hour ish outside of Oklahoma City. Um, and then before that, I lived in um, Macomb, which is in Pot County, um, Pottawatomie County. Um, so when I saw they had a free little Oklahoma bumper sticker, I was like, yes, I need one. I'll probably just put this on my MacBook or something. Okay, the next thing is by YSL, um, Yves Saint Laurent. This is the this is the Mon Paris Mon Paris perfume. Give me a second, you guys. My apologies. I thought I just heard um, somebody close the hood of my car. Anyway, um, Mon Petis. This is um, a perfume sample and it's a little vial. I love these little vials. I can usually get about two uses out of these, but not when it's only half full. I can only get one like this. I can't. This smells kind of sweet. I kind of want to spray it just so I can tell you guys what it smells like, but. It smells sweet and light. I don't know, we'll see. If I like this one better than the Lancome, I'll probably purchase this one instead, or I might purchase both. I don't know. Okay, and then I got this sample of NARS Orgasm Blush. Even though um, I already know what the fuck it looks like on me, it was free, so I was like, yeah, I'll take it, you know, whatever. 
so that's probably a few uses okay I'm pregnant and I'm fat so this is already gone but I saved the wrapper for you um, this is the Cliff Bar Z Bar for kids. It was a it was a cinnamon roll, um, not a granola bar. Shh. If you have eaten Cliff Bars, then you know what this is. What are these called? Baked whole grain energy snack. I started eating these when I lived in um, Oklahoma because the food bank had them all the time. I don't remember what you what we call these. They're not. Um, that's why I didn't really care for it. Um, yeah, it wasn't that good. Um, you don't call it a granola bar because it's not granola. I wouldn't really call it a protein bar either. It's a bar. Okay, it's a fucking bar. Oh, um, that can be trash now because I'm done with that. Okay, the next thing is this Lancome Paris um, Absolute Soft Cream. And I'm guessing this is like a like a night cream or something. I haven't even really opened this yet because I was waiting to show you guys. Fuck, there's fragrance in it. This is going to break me out. I don't know if I can use this or not. <laughs> Okay, let's pop her open and see. I'm not sure. I would look on Sephora right quick, but I can't because I'm on my phone recording this. So that is so cute. Look at that little teeny tiny gold jar. Oh my God, how fucking adorable. It's even got the little Lancome emblem. Oh my God, okay. Let's see. Very light, rosy fresh smell hold on wait a minute why does this remind me of a certain type of alcohol there's a certain kind of cheap cheap malt alcohol that you like when I was a teenager I used to buy it from gas stations for like two or three dollars a can that's what that smells like. I don't know. That's just what that reminds me of. Anyways, I'll have to look this up on Sephora and see if this is like a night cream or a day cream. Or what? Because it just doesn't say. Alright. Next we have from Canazol. These are 25 milligram hemp CBD gummies. Um, full spectrum. They are open because my husband went ahead and had one. Um, he said they don't taste good. They don't taste good at all. So, I don't know if he's even going to want to finish these, to be honest with you. Um, there's five left. There were six. I would eat these for him. Um, but I'm pregnant and don't get me wrong. I don't want to say just because I'm pregnant that doesn't mean anything. But because of my history of um, drug use... Um, by the way, I've been clean for almost five years now because of my history of drug use, um, at every prenatal appointment, um, I have to submit a urine sample and they do drug test me. And when my baby is born, they will drug test me and they will drug test my baby. So I stopped smoking weed when I was about six weeks, six, seven weeks along, um, which was when I found out I was already almost seven weeks along when I found out we were pregnant. So I stopped smoking weed then, and um, I've it's, it's been so long since I've smoked because I'm already six months, so this was like five months ago. It's been so long since I've smoked, I don't know that I'll start back up even after I have a baby. I, I really don't think I will. Um, and CBD, a lot of things um, that are CBD products, um, will still make you come back positive for THC. Um, a lot of people don't know that because there, in a lot of CBD products, there are still trace amounts of, um, THC in there, um, because of how the CBD is extracted from the marijuana. 
Um, so <clears throat> I really just don't want a chance me coming back dirty on anything, even if it's just a little bit of pot. Um, all my drug tests so far since the beginning have come back clean and I want to keep it that way. So if my husband won't eat these, I'm sure his best friend will. No problem. This next one is by Hit Balm. This is says organic, fast something, fast acting, long lasting. It's 100 milligrams of CBD per ounce. It says extra strong pain relief. Basically, this is a cream, like a pain cream, you know, like um, like icy hot, things like that. Lidocaine cream. You put this on um, areas of your body where it's painful and it's supposed to help get rid of the pain. Next, we have a Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I feel like that didn't even make sense. And it's in the color Big as the New Black, 01. So, there's the little, the little mascara sample tube. And we'll go ahead and open it. Whoop. Right now, I'm still using... Why do... Okay, I feel like most mascara smells like chocolate. Can someone tell me why? Right now, I'm still using um, Pat McGrath's mascara. What is it? Shit. I don't remember what it's called. It's a Pat McGrath mascara um, pregnancy brain. I just had a total brain fart. Anyway, so I'm using that. And then after that, I have one, have another one I need to use. And then I'll use this. It's good to have a little stockpile though. All right. So last but not least, the bag is now empty. The last thing is this, um... Yves Saint Laurent um, lipstick. I love this packaging. It's so rich and just luxurious. The color is in, I don't fucking know. Huh? Rouge per couture? That, what? That don't sound right. Where's the box? Motherfucker, this didn't even, Okay, it says 770. I don't know if there's a name or if it's just the color number. I don't know. But anyways, there you go. And I'll do a little swatchy swatch for y'all. Oh, that's a nice creamy pigmented nude. And of course, my extra long nail stabbed it already. We haven't even used it yet and it's already damaged there's that it's just a beautiful nude i would compare this to oh my god what was that lipstick called like six around like five or six years ago i think it was called 1985 and it was by Guerlain. i want to say maybe it wasn't by Guerlain. i don't remember um, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner. Kylie Kardashian. Is it Kylie Jenner or Kylie Kardashian? I'm so confused. One of the Richie bitches, um, was wearing this on, like, Instagram or some bullshit. And, um, everybody was loving it. And they're like, oh my god, what are you wearing? OMG, you're so beautiful. And it was 1985 by something. I don't remember the brand name. Anyways, that is what this color looks like. It is very resemblant of that. Keep getting on my nail. Okay, so that was absolutely everything for this month. <sighs> now I gotta put all this shit away. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put all of this away and um, get ready for bed. Um... I've got a long day tomorrow. My grandfather turns um, 98 tomorrow, so we're having his birthday party at my mom's. Um, and before that, I'm going to work just a little bit. And then before that, I'm going to clean up the kitchen because I just feel so much like shit. I'm not cleaning it up from dinner tonight. I will do it tomorrow before I work. Um. <sighs> so yeah. Um, 
my lighting and things like that my whole little like setup will be better when I can get a tripod which I think I've seen some at five below I found like a light ring at five below and a tripod I think it's one of the ones you can like mount to your wall and like hang your phone or camera in so I'll probably see about getting that but anyways I'm gonna go for now and I will see you guys in my next video I'm really not sure when that will be <laughs> um let's see I won't have another freebie video up for about another month um my ipsy's not coming this month I'm leaving you guys hanging this month um I'm trying to think what else. Um, I don't. I don't really have anything else planned. I mean, unless I have like an unexpected haul or um, Walgreens. Lord, girl, y'all know I've been going to Walgreens a lot lately, getting them damn couponing deals. Look now, if I do any more of that shit, which you can almost bet your sweet ass I will. Um, I will be back with another video, um, but I will probably see y'all at some point then because um, I have nothing else planned. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.